Hello, this is Sarah Brosh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to do a quick impromptu video. This video I think is going to be about the Los Angeles Times and Eric Ducker, the journalist, and how they are trying to get me killed to sell copies of the Los Angeles Times, the LA Times, and John Singleton movies. So just like a couple of hours ago, they published a smear job against me that endangers my life, incites my murder, drives me to suicide. Pretty close. I can't take any more. I can't take any more. I can't take any more abuse. About ready to get into the bathtub and slip my wrists open just so the pain will end just so it will end and they don't care they know the truth how do I know they know the truth because the Los Angeles Times a couple months ago not even rejected a piece by Kathy Young that would have corrected the record about the living or napping while black hate crime hoax and Kathy Young subsequently published that piece in the New York Daily News and I'll put links below and that piece she had rewritten several times, I believe, for her LA Times editor. So the LA Times was fully aware, they were fully aware that I'm an entirely innocent and lifelong human and civil rights licensed attorney activist. They were fully aware that I am the entirely innocent victim of the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale University. They were fully aware that I was terrorized in my isolated dorm room at the top of a tower on Yale's campus for months and stalked across campus with the complicity of the Yale administration and police and they don't care. They don't care. They don't care as long as they can sell John Singleton movies and copies of the LA Times. They don't care if they get an innocent civil rights activist killed. They are fake news assholes and frauds. I can't take any more. I can't take any more abuse. I can't take any more. I'm just going to end it because I can't take any more abuse. I spent my entire life fighting against depression in all of its many forms, including racism. I've only ever engaged in anti-racism activism. I have never engaged in racist behavior in my entire life. I can't take any more. I can't take any more. Congrats. Congrats, LA Times. Congrats, Los Angeles Times. Congrats, Eric Ducker. You succeeded in writing the smear job that finally pushed an innocent civil rights activist over the edge and finally drove me to suicide. That's a huge accomplishment. Great job. I hope you're proud of yourselves. I hope selling your souls for a little moral outrage industry profit and gain was worth it. I hope it was worth it. Congrats. Great job. I have to go. I, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be alive. I don't know. I, I love you so much. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.